Hi, I'm Pariah Burke. I'm going to briefly talk to you about what's new in InDesign CC 2015. The CC 2015 release adds a lot of nice little features and a couple of really good big ones and some improvements. Specifically, starting with new features, CC 2015 adds Adobe Stock, Adobe's new stock photography agency that it acquired, a very large stock photography agency, and it's now integrated directly into InDesign. You can now use images inside table cells in a way that's different from the way we did it yesterday, in a way that is much more intuitive and a whole lot easier to deal with. Trust me on this, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean very soon. There are also paragraph shading, which is another excellent new feature for something that we've had to do a workaround on for years. Now, no more time-consuming, clunky workarounds. The feature is built right in. And the most exciting new feature, Publish Online, which is a technical preview. It's not quite ready for prime time yet, but it's really cool already. It lets you publish your InDesign documents online directly from inside InDesign. And they work on any device that understands modern web technologies. I mean, computers, tablets, smartphones. It works on iOS, iPad, and iPhone using all modern technology. It isn't flash. This is cool is what it is. This is cool. Before we get into that, though, there's a couple of other things I should mention. InDesign CC 2015 also improves upon long-standing features with a few changes. One is the Mercury Drawing Engine. You may have heard of this from being integrated into Illustrator a while back. It dramatically speeds up the on-screen drawing on InDesign, meaning when you're zooming in and out on pages, when you're scrolling through a document, when you're generating page thumbnails, it's all a lot smoother and faster now. InDesign just feels snappier. There are a couple of minor but quite welcome changes in the export dialog for print PDFs. You can now choose viewing and layout options just like you could already for interactive PDFs, just like you could inside Acrobat for all PDFs. Now you can choose them directly inside the PDF for print export dialog within InDesign. That means you're even less likely to have to tweak a print-ready PDF exported from InDesign in Acrobat. Creative Cloud Libraries, which was introduced a short time ago, now lets you sync more. They let you sync additional features from InDesign, some additional content types that make your work easier, especially if you're collaborating with other team members or if you're working on multiple computers, one at work, one at home, one in your dorm room, one in the library or lab. It makes staying in sync easier. This is what's new and changed in InDesign CC 2015. Over the next few minutes, I will show you not only how these features work, but also suggest to you ways in which they can streamline your workflow and increase your creativity. 